And still a third save there by Tom Barrasso. And when you bark out rebound, it takes you back to Tuesday night. He has to do a better job tonight. Yes, he does. And this is two good saves. The first shot there, there's one rebound by Jelena, but he got the second one. So Tom knows he has to control those rebounds, and that was better. He didn't kick that out way to the slot, so good saves there. Three shots in a row by the Flames, and three big saves there by Tom Barrasso. He's played well, was injured starting the season. Won the Hobie Baker Award at University of Minnesota last season. For his first NHL goal against the Blues last time we were here. That is true. Here is Dallas Drake. Mellonby gets hooked at center ice by Yell. Drake gets hit. He's hurt. Oh, baby. Uh oh baby. Oh, baby. And uh, Mellonby is not happy. The fact is, no one's happy. For any reason. Drake seems to be very seriously hurt. Well, he made the drop pass and was looking back behind him for the pass. And Goche with the hip check. And they're throwing him out of the game, I guess. But here it is. You see Dallas Drake coming across. Now he's got his head down. Goche's coming all the way. A hip check, and they're going to call this. That, that's a hip, the old-fashioned hip check coming across the middle. Drake was looking back. You can see, I think that's a Charlie horse more than anything. He caught him, I believe, Kenny, on the side of the thigh. At least that's what it looked like. But we'll get a better look at it again here. And here it is, right across there. There's the, the hip check out now. I disagree with this call. I mean, I know what the league is trying to do, the low hits they don't want, but that is a old-fashioned hip check. You're coming across the middle, and when you got your head down, and the crowd, the crowd is, is booing here, and that is what the league, they said they're gonna put a clamp down on, and that is the old-fashioned hip check, Kenny, that we saw 100 times through the years. I guess that is not allowed anymore. That's basically what they're saying. Bernie, a lot of people you and I talk to say they like the way play is going in this league now, but some will comment they want to see some hitting now and then. They want to see more yeah. physical play, and there isn't much. And I, you know, Bernie, I hate to see Dallas Drake get hurt. I, I, totally I, I don't, agree. I don't no, see I, that I, that's a penalty. I don't I, see what's wrong with that check. I don't see that as a penalty either, but under what the league is saying now, they don't want that low hip check to come into play anymore, and that's what the call is. But that's hockey. I agree with you, Kenny. That's hockey. This crowd is unhappy. They know they're hockey up here in Alberta, and they don't like that a bit. Blues had a five on three last night at Edmonton at a crucial point. Couldn't score. Wait to Stillman. Open net. Oh! What a save on Mellonby, who maybe shot it into McLennan as much as anything. Yeah, he reached back with that stick. That's just a great save. Here's Demetra giving the puck. On three, power play ensued, and what a great save by Jamie McLennan right there. Mellonby thought he scored there, and here's a good look here again as you see the shot. Look at this save, and that, that might have went across the line from that angle. It's a shame that they didn't go upstairs and look at that, but what a great save by McLennan. Your local Chrysler watching the Blues on WB11. KPLR TV, St. Louis, wait, fakes the shot. Boganicki, one-timer off the arm of Jamie McLennan. Here's Al McKinnis to Corey Stillman. No score early in the second period. Here's Demetra to Boganicki, score! Boganicki, a power play goal, and the Blues lead it one to nothing. Nice pass across, and McLennan did get a piece of it this time, but he didn't keep it out of the net, so a big power play goal for the Blues, and they will still stay on the power play. Boy, that's amazing that McLennan even got a piece of that, but good spot there. No one was able to flag down that pass through traffic, and the Blues take a one nothing lead. That's the ninth of the season for Boganicki, who started the season in the minors. He leads the team in goals scored. 36 seconds to go in the power play. Again, a clipping major to Gauthier. That's why the Blues still have the power. Here's Lidman. Regeer. Back for Lidman. Broken up still. Wade will head to the net. A partial break. And the save by McLennan. Jamie McLennan robs Doug Waite.
to bet you all you wanted to bet that Jamie McLennan was going to use the poke check. He always did this going back to all the years he was in the, with the Blues. You knew he was going to throw that stick out. And a great play by McLennan. Wade was going to go deep, but there it is. As soon as that stick came out, Wade tried to go up top over the diving. McLennan not able to get it up, so McLennan has really kept the Flames in this. And the scary part about this is all the power plays the Blues have had only one goal. Now, I always concerned with the Flames have only had one power play tonight. You know what that means? There might be some calls yet against the Blues and the Flames may end up on the power play. The Blues have a 1-0 lead. 15 and a half minutes to go in regulation. Stillman sends the team's change. A minute to go in the Jeff Finley penalty. Drew shoots the puck in. Avanoff. Checked by Yell. Here's Jelena. Hit by Salvador. Aginla. He's got Lidman at the point. The shot deflects a save. Rebound. And the puck is covered. Oh, is that a close call? Bouncing puck in front of the net. I don't think anybody knew where it was. It ended up coming into the crease. But the shot right from the point through traffic. You see how it bounced around. Ended up in the crease. And Rasso able to get the pads closed. Better look from the overhead. There it is. There's Clark getting pushed down in front. No one can find it. The whistle goes. So a big save by Barrasso to control the rebound in the crease. Shellina retreats to get the puck. Bodine is out there along with Eastwood, Salvador, and McKinnis. 40 seconds to go. Eastwood back to get the puck. Sends it around behind the net. Here's a Ginlock. The penalty is over. Blues at full strength. Demetra is on. Half a minute to go. Blues lead one to nothing. Uh oh. Again, in front. Leopold shot blocked. Salvador blocks it and has the puck covered. Oh baby, what a play defensively. Credit that save. That was a goal. Salvador, Salvador doesn't block that. As it was a perfect setup, you see again with the pass, and there's no way that Barrasso could have come across there. A better look from this angle, and what a block there by Salvador to keep that puck from going through into the crease where Tom Barrasso was trying to dive back from his right to left. So another huge face-off, 24 seconds remaining in the third period. Shots 24-21, favoring the Blues. Big win here, again, waits, shoots, oh, and it deflects just wide. 17 seconds, Leopold a shot, knocked down in front. Wait gets the puck, cracks it off the glass down the ice, wiggling towards the empty net. Oh, and it hits the post. The good news is no icing. Otherwise, would have missed it, it would have been icing. Three seconds, two seconds. That shot over the net, and it's over. The Blues have the victory, one to nothing, on Eric Boganicki's power play goal. Our bud player of the game, Bernie, Tom Barrasso. You can see his 38th career shutout, 23 saves tonight. A great, great comeback for Barrasso after giving up six goals in Vancouver on Tuesday. Very strong goal performance by Barrasso tonight. No question he's the player of the game. So good work by the Blues. Two and one on the road trip. One and two now on the road trip. Great to get the win. Tim Paps, our producer. Phil Malik, our director. They've done a great job as always. This copyrighted telecast on WB11 has been produced by Fox Sports Net. There's the final. The Blues win it. One nothing. Next telecast Wednesday, 5.30 for the pregame show on Fox Sports Net from Columbus. For Bernie and Dan, I'm Ken Wilson. Thanks so much for being with us tonight. The Blues postgame show is next. The Blues win it one to nothing.